Today we got prepared for you a comparative review of the two of the most highly appraised wireless gaming headsets, the Logitech's G933 Artemis Spectrum and the SteelSeries Siberia 800. Who will win in this battle of the titans? Stick around and find out. If we start with an overview of both of the headphones, starting with the around 100 euros more affordable Logitech G33s, they have 40mm drivers inside of each ear cup, which is a completely normal driver size in the gaming sphere, and relatively small one in the audio file solutions. The same can be said about the other specifications of the product. The frequency response from 20 to 20,000 Hz, 39 ohms of resistance and an SPL loudness of 107 decibels. The story continues with the microphone that can detect frequencies from 100 to 20,000 Hz and picks up voices in the cardioid pattern, so noises from around the room will be less heard than if the microphone were omnidirectional or something like that. Given that we are testing wireless headphones, the specified range is 50 meters inside and 20 meters outside but I've never had that kind of luck when using the device, as when I was 7 meters away in our kitchen, I could not consistently use the headphones. But then again, our apartment's walls are pretty thick, so your experience may vary. They should last up to 12 hours without lighting and, and 8 hours with lighting, but we can corroborate only the latter numbers, because we didn't really want to use RGB lighting headphones without using the lighting. In the box we get a 3.5mm jack with controls to adjust the volume, RCA and 3.5mm cable, a USB cable for power, an adapter to set the wireless mix about which we will talk about later and of course the removable ear plates. SteelSeries Siberia 800 on the other hand also has 40mm drivers inside that work at the same frequency between 20 and 20,000 Hz but with a slightly lower SPL rating of 100 decibels of loudness but it's more than enough for any use except the ones where we really truly want to damage our ears. The microphone is unidirectional meaning that it picks up voices from only one end and detects frequencies from 100 to 10,000 Hz at minus 44 decibels. The range is although still series specified a lower rating identical to Logitech's and does not allow me to be productive in the kitchen. Maybe the peripheral manufacturers want to tell me something. The battery has 20 hours of juice inside, as was our experience, so after around a good day and a half of use, the battery started beeping and we quickly mitigated that with a quick battery change as two batteries are included in the box. In a matter of seconds we were again with the full wireless solutions, not like on the G933 where we had to spend a few hours on a cable when draining the 8 hour battery life. In the packaging, as said before, before we get two batteries, an optical USB power 3.5mm, TRRS 3.5mm and 2.5mm cables to use with all devices and all the consoles. That is of course besides the headphones themselves and a really nice boxy transmitter. The latter also includes a really smooth dial to adjust the volume, to switch between the inputs to charge the batteries etc. While the G933 only has a simple USB transmitter included and we have to, and we have to adjust all the settings in the software or the buttons on the headphones themselves. Before we start with the direct comparison, it is absolutely necessary to highlight the 100 plus euro difference in the suggested MSRP of the products. But still the experience of use is like night and day. The Logitech G933 are definitely more impressive as far as the RGB lighting goes, that makes them stand out wherever we use them, be it at a LAN party or in our bedroom. The quality is not measured by the RGB lighting but the build quality and the sound quality and to be quite honest the G933s do not impress in either of those. More so the plastic is I believe identical to the G230 that costs 60 euros and that kind of price discrepancy should get us better build quality and better plastics. It seems that they kept the same frame and upgraded it with lighting, a whole boatload of programmable buttons and a more adjustable microphone. In Inside it's still a Clio, just that it's pimped out with spoilers and a beefed up motor. On the other hand the still series Siberia 800 is from the beginning configured as a luxury, top of the line solution that looks more like a Mercedes if I follow the previous analogy. Maybe it doesn't handle as good, but it's more comfortable, elegant and sophisticated. In line with that when adjusting the headband length on the M800 we get this satisfying click while on the G933s the click frightens us as we often have the feeling that it will fall apart in our hands when using it. The same can be said about the microphone. The 
M800 microphone gives that satisfactory feeling when pulling it out of the ear cup and the end point lights up with the switch red color when it's muted. In the end, the difference while using it is in small details, but those details leave a lasting impression. Moving onwards to compare the sound reproduction on both of the devices, I have to say that the width of the sound on the G933s is larger, it reproduces more frequencies and we, see, and we hear lots more detail in the music, but those voices that Siberia 800 reproduces, they have better strength and are more vibrant. The latter is also more present in the bass department and in video games the whole experience is therefore more realistic. Of course both of the headsets can have Dolby 7.1 and DTS enabled, but in my experience it doesn't do anything useful with the sound and after initially testing it to see if it actually works, I just had it turned off. Both of the products support advanced EQ setting modifications so that we have different sound profiles in uh, let's say for example CSGO where we drop the bass so we hear more of the footsteps of our opponents while in movies we boost the bass to have a more cinematographic experience. Here G933 has an absolute advantage as we can set specific G buttons on the back side of the left ear cup to enable or disable some of the, these sound profiles. While the whole process is a bit longer on the Siberia where you have to adjust the EQ on the computer or on the receiver. The microphones on both products are bad. Our teammates will hear us and understand what we are saying, but the sound reproduction is always shallow and lacks any depth whatsoever. The last thing to go through in this ultimate test is the comfort. I would say that it is equal in both the products, but on a completely different way. G933s are, because of its airy plastic surface of the ear cups and its headband, more airy and light on our head. Subsequently, we never had the experience of them feeling hot on our head or we had any sort of discomfort. But that did happen with the SteelSeries headphones as that is to be expected with memory foam filled earpads that are then again on another level when it comes to comfort and isolation of the sound. There is no clear or definitive winner here, depends on what you like. One more thing to note here are the earpad covers on the G933s. They house the batteries and the transmitter but are covered by these magnetic doors that in our experience just kept falling out whenever we took the G933s into our hands and therefore our experience with them was annoying to say the least and after a few days we just kept them off and didn't bother putting them back on. We get more from the product that is substantially more expensive but that is also to be expected and the experience that the G933 delivers for its price are not unsatisfying at all. Actually far from that, both of the headphones are decent and will accommodate most of the user's wishes and demands. We just maybe expected a little bit more build quality from Logitech and a little better sound reproduction on the Siberia M800s. Of course, given their prices that are top end of the products in the gaming sector. Thanks for watching this review on Discharge Networks. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.